Hi, this is Gary. In this video, I'm going to explain the concept of how uh, selling a covered call works. Uh, to start off, we own 100 shares of the underlying stock, and we're looking to sell a call option on those 100 shares uh, to generate uh, income. Uh, in other words, we're basically giving up uh, most of the upside uh, for a set period of time uh, in exchange for cash. Uh, it could be a month, could be two months, uh, it could be as long as a year uh, or even longer uh, if we're looking at leaps. Uh, it's basically considered a conservative strategy and from my experience, it's, uh, portfolio managers have done it with like uh, large cap, uh, low volatility stocks. Now, so essentially what we have is we are long 100 shares of XYZ stock and uh, we are short a uh, call option on the XYZ stock uh, at some point out in time and uh, we regenerate uh, cash income from that. Now uh, I'm going to give an example here. Uh, we're going to use uh, Yahoo uh, stock, uh, which at the time here uh, we're looking at April 3 of 2013 was priced at uh, 23.39. And maybe Yahoo isn't the best example, but it'll we'll use this for the concept of how it works. Now uh, I've got a list of uh, call options expiring on uh, Friday, May 17 of 2013 and that is approximately uh, one month out or just maybe six weeks out from the, the, the time this video was made. And uh, well we already own uh, 100 shares of Yahoo stock so that cost us uh, $2,339 not including uh, commissions. And uh, we are going to sell a uh, May uh, call option with a strike price of uh, 25 and we're going to receive uh, 33 cents income and because that call option is on 100 shares we receive uh, 33 uh, times 100 which comes out to uh, $33 income and uh, this is how our graph is going to look here. Uh, to start off, remember that we own 100 shares at 23.39. And uh, so 23.39 is going to be our intersect point for one of our lines here. Uh, so we own 100 shares at 23.39 and that graph looks like this. And then uh, we are taking the position of selling a call option, May 25 call option of Yahoo stock for 33 cents. So essentially on this side right here, uh, these two payoffs cancel out. Uh, so that is just going to be a flat line. Now on the left side of the equation, uh, we are adding $33 or uh, it would be 33 cents in this graph for any stock price moves under 25. So we're going to add to that initial line we had. Uh, 0.33 and our new line will look something like this and that is essentially uh, how the uh, payoff for a uh, covered call will work and we'll look at this numerically here uh, we have a $2,339 net cash outlay that's for the stock and we receive uh, $33 for covered call income uh, for the one month out or six weeks out so our NAT cash outlay is $2,306 and of course this doesn't include uh, transactions cost. Now from a profit and loss standpoint, the maximum amount we can make is $194 and that is the strike of 25. So the most our stock can go up to is 25. So we, our stock position can go up to $2,500. And uh, we've spent uh, $2,306 on it. So we take the $2,500 minus $2,306 and that comes gives us a total of $194 and that's the max profit we can make. On the uh, flip side, the maximum amount we can lose is the amount that, uh, net amount that we've invested in this. And that is uh, $2,306. Now, that's from a theoretical standpoint. Uh, I know most equities uh, don't fall that much in a month. If it was a year out, yeah, it could definitely happen. But uh, if it's a month out, even if it was the next Enron, uh, Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns, uh, you're going to lose a lot. You probably wouldn't lose the whole 2300. It might, you know, 
go down to like five or six bucks a share or something like that. So you, you lose most of it, but not all of it. And uh, that is essentially how a covered call strategy works. Thank you for watching.